Let's make history. The territory which would become the Manhattan neighborhood of Chelsea had its start as a 10 block radius from 19th to 24th Street between 8th and 10th Avenues right off the Hudson River. Thomas Clark, a retired major in the British Army, purchased that patch of land in 1750 and named it Chelsea after a veterans hospital in the London area. He bought the land off of a Dutch farmer and his grandson Clement increased the value of the land much later when he broke it down into lots. Clement, by the way, was the writer of The Night Before Christmas. In 1847, the strip of land directly off of the Hudson River was topped with railroad tracks. And 20 years after that, the first elevated train was built. The skeleton of that same L train would be where High Line Park was built many years later. This brought further growth to the area's economy. It brought visitors, it brought manufacturers, it brought factories and warehouses. Chelsea saw an influx of Irish immigrants. Almost a hundred Irish people died during a dispute between Catholics and Protestants that came to blows. That riot took place on 24th Street and 8th Avenue. From 1875 to the turn of the 20th century, it became an entertainment district. There were theaters along 23rd Street was stretched all the way towards the east side. The Chelsea was also built during this period, and that's a famous hotel, frequented by the likes of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love, among others. Like many other places along the coast of Manhattan and New York City's boroughs in general, Chelsea did not reach that far out into the Hudson River. It was extended via landfill and the Chelsea Pier was built in 1907. 20 years later, the West Side Highway went up. And in 1973, the West Side Highway section in Chelsea was so poorly managed that a cement truck actually fell through. 